Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. So these readings are the general energies, trends and themes for everybody that we're going to be experiencing. Sometimes world events will show up here, sometimes it's just kind of like a spiritual coaching message as many of you have called it. That being said, um, you'll always get my intuitive message. So I go into my intuition every week and I'll ask for what it is that we need to know at this moment in time. And then we look at all of the other cards to support that energy. Now, that being said, if you haven't seen it, your Pisces new moon astrology video forecast is up and out there for your viewing pleasure. There's a link to it in the description. I'll put one of those little things that floats above my head as well so that you can check that out. Um, but with that said, there will be a lot more of those kinds of things coming. Um, so I really hope you enjoy it. Check it out and tell me what you think. So uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my cards and the session with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week, um, when I went into my intuition and I asked what it is that everybody needs to know at this moment in time, the first thing that I saw, bold as brass, was um, a comet. It was just like going on its merry way and it was like really like I could feel like the speed and the strength and the heat and the cold and all of the things that were happening with it at the time. Um, and the message that I got from this, because once that had happened, it was like I could see somebody, when I say somebody, I mean all of us, you know, whoever that person was, they represent all of us because I'm asking every week from my intuition what we all need to hear or know at this moment in time. And what I saw was somebody walking like the comet, you know, just doing their thing. And so the message that I got from this was, be resolved to your path. So whatever your path is, whatever you've been preparing, whatever you've been working hard on behind the scenes, whatever you have been kind of putting together uh, or really kind of trying to move towards, now is the time to get in it, right? So if you've already started your, you know, and I'm not talking about your resolutions, although this could be that, right? Could be a rededication of that for some of you. This is about whatever path you are on now, this is about you really getting into it. So the, the best way for me to describe this is, you know, like when you take a class at the gym, I'll give you an idea, because I like spin classes. Everyone tells me I'm crazy, but I absolutely love them. That's my thing. Once you get like 15 minutes into it, your body, your mind, your, <laughs> you know, you're really engaged in it, but you have to be present. This week, that's what this is about. Be resolved to your path, right? Be present this week. And like a comet, be unalterable, right? So you got to be resolute this week. Absolutely. You got to be stepping into your path and your power this week, but you've got to make sure whatever comes up, whatever happens out there, whatever, you know, is going on in any of that kind of regard, this week you have to be present. And more importantly, do not allow anything or anyone to pull you from your path. Stay focused. All right. Like this is get to it, right? Be present. So for the destiny card, the overarching energy, trend or theme. Oh, okay. So that one seems to want out. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, of course. So it is the gate 47 and mindset from the human design oracle deck. I mean, just look, right? If you can look at the card, you see this really bright part here. You've got this kind of gloomy part here. Mindset. I think you've heard the the saying or you've seen the the, the meme on social media. There's a, a bus. It's kind of like a cartoon and there's two people sat on it and one's kind of looking at the grey rocks and kind of like, Ugh, and the other one's looking out at the sunshine and is like taking a little video. Where you put your mind, what you focus on is what you amplify. It's what you get more of, right? So the, you've probably heard the saying where energy, where, where attention goes, energy flows. It really is the case, right? Your mind is the magnifying glass, but once you start to look at something, you start to generate feelings. Once you start generating feelings, you're getting this, your most powerful electromagnetic energy in your body it starts to work, right? And it starts to project its energy towards whatever your magnifying glass is focusing on. All right, so this week, be intentional. And the destiny card is basically saying where we put our minds, how we allow our energy and our mindset to kind of show up this week, 
is really going to count for everything. So this, what this tells me is that something on the wider world stage this week is going to feel a little bit challenging for pretty much everybody. So it'll be interesting to see what this is. Um, now, another way that you could see this, um, because it is a mind gate in a sense, right? But it's not in terms of, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, it's not just in terms of like the cerebral stuff, it's also in terms of allowing things to unfold, right? Letting your mind sort of play around in or on or over an idea. Give yourself over to contemplation once in a while. All right, so for our direction cards, how may we influence our own mindset in the face of whatever shows up this week, I think is the question. So the direction that we should be taking, I hate that word, should, the direction that we may employ to get results that we desire is the Page of Cups. All right, so through open, honest, heart-spaced uh, connection, intuition and openness, right? So really having your mind and your heart working in symbiosis this week is actually one of the best ways with the 10 of wands. So releasing whatever's on your heart this week, this is a good week to talk it out. Don't go it alone. If there's something that you're working with on, over or through, this is not a week to do it on your ones. And then we've got the full card. Ha <laughs> ha all right, so this week is a change point, whether we want it or not, whether we're ready for it or not, whether we are um, prepared for it or not. Something is coming up for change, right? The full card coupled with the 10 of wands. This could be a spontaneous journey that happens for some people. It may be a journey or even a call to action of some sort that comes that you kind of respond to from that heart space. Check in, and this is the thing, if you feel yourself this week emotionally reacting, Check in with the mind, ask yourself, is there, you know, is there proof, is there evidence, is this actually happening or is this just how I feel? If you're all in your mind, check in with your heart. What does your heart say about this, all right? Like this week, there is, the, it's through symbiosis of the mind, heart, brain that this sure would, understand. mind your business, Siri. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it happens all the time. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by this idea now, um, in terms of the wider world stage, and this theme seems to be coming up a lot recently, and it's funny because at first I thought it might be about the situation that's happening with the Ukraine, and I, you know, my heart goes out to them. Obviously, the people in Turkey, it's just awful, and I, I couldn't believe it, actually. Somebody sent me a message on Instagram. You know who you are, lady. Um, thank you so much. And she was like, you know, I just want to check in with you because... Well, you know, I feel these things quite deeply and when you've already called them, a lot of people, you know, I tend to get a lot of messages that are actually quite mean. Uh, you know, how can you say this and da 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 and it's like, I just do the job that I'm tasked to do. I don't make anything happen. It's just the same as astrology. Astrology doesn't make anything happen to anybody. It's just reading the patterns, the cycles, the energies, the trends, the themes. Um, that being said, this really speaks to me of some kind of liberation. There's a sense of freedom that comes through these cards. It may be a disruptive freedom, it, you know, and what do I mean by that? This could be, let's say, the ending of a job or a relationship. This could be something that comes to an end that immediately you're kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling this in the heart space. But at the same time, you have a moment where you just kind of go, actually, you know what? I'm glad that's gone because now I can breathe. Um, so it will be interesting to see kind of how this shows up on the wider world stage. I wonder if this is, um, and let me kind of get this right in my mind, something that's happening on the water or the seas, so whether this is a, a space or uh, is either opened up or there's a discussion that opens up around liberating some kind of naval uh, energies. There's a few reasons I say this and for those of you that are well versed in tarot, you're probably looking at these cards and thinking, where did he get that from? And I haven't got time to go into it, but that's the feeling that I have. All right, so uh, on a personal level, like I said, I feel like this is some moment of liberation that's coming in and it may come very much by surprise. All right, for our insight cards, how do we see round corners? We've got the Ace of Cups. There's the second time we're being told to have an open heart this week. So really keeping it open, allowing your energy to be open to flow. That means if you need to cry, you do it. It means if you need to laugh, do it loudly, right? Living from the heart space this week with the Two of Cups. Beautiful. 
okay. And then the King of Wands, right? So there's a few ways that this shows up. For those of you that are ending a relationship at the moment, it doesn't have to be a personal one. It could literally be a friendship, uh, a business partnership, etc. Whatever's coming to an end this week, something and potentially someone comes right up behind it that actually replaces it with something completely and you know ultimately much better. I actually really like this. I mean, the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups, that's a new relationship. Uh, with the King of Wands, this is potentially a new relationship that either puts you out to the, the focus or makes you the focus. I'm gonna talk about who this could be in just a moment. And the reason I say this is because the King of Wands it, as a, an experience is really about being seen. It's about doing, you know, the job, doing the work, showing up as you need to. So this for me, that is potentially a new partnership, a new collaboration, a new connection that comes in. And it's you helping someone else to shine while they are shining their light on you, right? So this is, it's kind of like, again, this whole word about symbiosis uh, really comes in. And it's almost like the tool that you're gonna use that's gonna be the greatest thing for you to use this week to stay on your path is gonna be this, right? It, it really, really is. Forget the words purpose and, you know, life path and all of that stuff. Forget that for a minute. Just check in with yourself and ask yourself, do I feel like my inner compass is going the right way? Sometimes it really is that simple and we overcomplicate it. Now, the King of Wands, who is the King of Wands? King of Wands is a fire sign male, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that could be a help with these cards, this is definitely somebody that's beneficial for us. This could be a partner uh, in terms of, for those of you that are single, it's possible. Uh, in terms of a business partner or collaborator, this person could be very good for you and it could be that they either prod you or poke you in a way that's very gentle. Um, and again, how you see those prods, how you take those cues from them is gonna be this stuff, your stuff. Now, finally, on the wider world stage, um, this is the, the revelation or the forging of a, so on a sort of world business level, we're gonna hear about a big business merger this week, um, which might actually be very good for the people. Another way that this potentially shows up is um, a partnership or a relationship. Um, that nobody sees coming. I wouldn't be surprised if someone comes out this week, uh, you know, whether that's out of the spiritual broom closet, as we like to say in the spiritual community or uh, out of, you know, the actual closet. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a same sex couple that comes forward and, you know, everyone's like, oh my gosh, like, did you hear so-and-so just come out? Um, that's what I've got for you this week. Uh, check out your Pisces New Moon video. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon. Uh, with that said, uh, I will see you next week.